We're at Light Reading's NFE and Carrier SDN conference, talking here with IP Infusion. Shaji, you guys have a couple of products relevant to this space. Yes. I want you to uh, start by telling me about Ocnos. Yeah, Ocnos is a, um, the full name stands for Open Compute Network Operating System. Okay. And it is a network, complete network operating system for white box uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And Vernos is its uh, virtual equivalent that can be used as an NFE product. And also for um, providing services on top of the underlay hardware that Ocnos provides. Ocnos is a full operating system. Is Vernos also a full operating system? Yes, Vernos is a full operating system. If you use it in context like a virtual provider edge device, mm -hmm. uh, you could run it on standard uh, server hardware uh, with okay. DPDK uh, data plane forwarding. So it essentially gives you the acceleration best of both worlds. So it is virtualized in the sense that you could run it in a VM. Mm -hmm. And now you could also run it on a bare metal server as is. Okay, so where would Ocnos get used? Like, uh, Ocnos basically gets used in um, the data center primarily as of today, pri partly because you know most of the open compute hardware that we come across, a white box which is built for uh, data center, highly optimized for data center. But uh, we are also seeing Ocnos being deployed at the provider edge for aggregation, mm -hmm. particularly like uh, broadband aggregation services like uh, OLT termination, uh, DSL aggregation, then LTE backhaul. Mm -hmm. And we also have seen it in inter-exchange carriers, basically. So we have one deployment coming up, it's one of the largest exchanges. But uh, essentially, it, it's a very interesting concept. Um, it's basically using network virtualization um, uh, to form a very high, ca high capacity fabric, compute fabric. Uh, essentially, what they have is a 100 gigabit fabric, and on top of that, you know, with eVPN and VPLS, and eVPN and VXLAN, they are able to interconnect uh, almost like 700 uh, uh, different carriers, and okay. it's like a, uh, it's basically from over 70, 70 plus countries as of today. Oh, great. All right. So how about Vernos? What kind of real world uses the other? Uh, so we have one use case where a large provider in Japan basically is trialing out it as a PE device, virtual PE device. Okay. And in one case, they're also positioning it as a part of a orchestration solution. So it goes as a VCP solution uh, that works with their SDN platform. Okay. So we have two uh, deployments at this point in time. One of the markets everyone's talking about is data center interconnect, yep. but that doesn't, it, that doesn't sound like there's an optical angle to what you do, but I mean, do you have a play there? Yes, uh, I can explain how we fit in there. Like okay. uh, uh, recently, uh, if you've seen some news clips about Microsoft trialing out uh, new uh, WDMs that can directly integrate with uh, open compute hardware, okay. Uh, okay. now you get uh, uh, long haul optics basically for less than 80 kilometers. That okay. would be the starting point. Uh -huh. And uh, essentially, on top of that, you can provide DCI using uh, eVPN uh -huh. uh, for uh, on-demand interconnect. So that is one way to look at it. And uh, in conjunction with Tosca and Yang, you could now provide services for parallel compute applications, particularly like network analytics, mm -hmm. uh, using big data. And big data by itself, uh, like uh, cloud bursting scenarios where you need a temporary overload. Um, and uh, from your local data center and you want to burst into a cloud, for instance. Okay. So that would be another use case. Okay, it's kind of like bringing some of the open networking ideas into the optical. Optical plane, yes. That's, that's cool. Well, Shaji, thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you, Craig.